I'm so uncomfortable. I'm so intimidated. I'm embarrassed. I'm gonna be the worst in the class. I'm super overweight. Everyone's gonna judge me. I need to get in shape before I go to that place. Do any of these sound like you? If any of this has left your mouth, then you need to watch this video to the end because I'm gonna give you five tips to get past and overcome your fear of going to the gym. Hey, hey, Coach Lou here from Elevate Fitness and Martial Arts, and I've helped thousands of people reach their weight loss goals, learn and educate themselves on nutrition, and to feel simply fantastic about themselves while getting fit. So before we get to these five tips, I just wanna let you know to please hit the subscribe button and that little bell to be notified when we upload something awesome. This way you know when we're offering those amazing tips and tricks when it comes to mindset, nutrition, and fitness. So let's get the ball rolling. So over the years, I've noticed a common theme, and I wanna talk about this. I always like to meet with people coming into my studio. I, I'm a big energy person, a vibe person. I wanna feel your energy and your vibes. I wanna see what you're bringing to the table. But there's key things that I wanna hear from you because primarily I wanna know, are you ready? And one of the main things that I hear is people talk about, well, what stopped me before is I was just really intimidated to come here, or I just don't feel good about myself. I feel that I'm gonna be the last person in the class. I'm embarrassed. I think people are gonna judge me. Um, I, don't, I don't want people to look at me while I'm doing it because I'm not gonna be as good as they are. And I get that. It's a real thing. That fear and that anxiety, it kicks in, especially when you're starting something new and you already are feeling very insecure within. Because now we're looking at growth, we're looking at change, and we're looking at so many things that are taking place. There's a lot going on in you when you make that choice to step outside of your comfort zone. So here are my five tips to help you get through that little bit of fear and anxiety, or a lot, it depends on you and what levels you're at. But I want you to use these tips and just know that I offer them to my personal clients and people that I meet with coming in. And I really feel that they can help you on your journey. Just remember that you have to implement them into your life. Life is too short. You must live it, enjoy it, give it your all. So here's my five tips and I hope that they are very helpful for you. Tip number one, do something that scares you. See, this is gonna be a way for you to get out of your comfort zone. This is gonna be that first initial baby step that you need to take to start getting out of that little bubble that you've created. Most of it is just in our head. We create these fears and anxiety in our minds. Because remember, it starts there. You have to first make that choice. Another thing is think of the alternative to that. If you don't go out and take that class, what's gonna happen? Do you have health concerns right now that you're worried about? Maybe you're bored with your at-home workouts or maybe you know you're not motivated to do something on your own. Maybe you've tried over and over again and you realize you need a lot more accountability. And going into a facility to work out is a lot more accountability than relying on, oh, I'll start Monday. I'll start Monday. We've all said that before. So remember, do something that scares you because it's time to get out of your comfort zone and it's a baby step and think of the alternative to it. Number two, everyone wants, wants a beginner. You have to remember that all of our badasses today were once a beginner. We've all had to start somewhere. So if you can look at someone who maybe you're, you feel you're intimidated by, just remember there was a time in their life when they couldn't do it. They had to learn just like you, but the only difference is they've been more consistent at that practice. So if you can learn to be more consistent and you can learn to constantly strive and work towards something, you can get to that level. You just have to remember 
baby steps. Take the step first and don't put yourself in that line of fire because you are the only one who is holding you back. Number three. And this is primarily for my peeps that I hear say, I have to get fit before I go to the gym. I have to get fit before I go there. Guess what? Newsflash. It's a gym! You go to the gym to get fit! Now, one of the things I do want to tell you is scope it out first. Check it out. If there's a place that you want to go, if there's a gym you want to go to, check it out. Scope it. There's so much you can do. You can Google it. You can read reviews. You can talk to friends. You can actually show up and check the place out. Feel out the vibe. Do you get greeted right when you come in or do you feel everybody staring you up? If that's the way you feel, then that's not the gym for you. Go somewhere where there's a professional who you can talk to about modifying the classes and if there's a beginner's program. Most places do, most, I can pretty much say all of them unless you're going to a gym that's like 24 hour fitness, planet fitness, those places. But even then I think they give you a walkthrough and there's some kind of um, you know, incentive they can give you if you're just starting out which is going to lead into my next. So tip number four, pick a more personalized studio. When you pick a more personalized studio, you're gonna get that more one-on-one -on -one attention that you need, and almost all of those studios have a community. And when you go there, you're gonna feel that vibe. Most places offer some kind of free package, free intro offer. I have a one week free at my studio, so you can check out the vibe of the studio and see, is this gonna be a place for me? So I would really, really recommend that you maybe bring a buddy with you if you're feeling a little insecure in that way because it's always nice to dive in with somebody else, right? But that'll help you kind of getting get over the hump of actually getting out there and doing it. If you are joining a more corporate-like gym, then what I would recommend is go in there and scope out the machines first. Start with the machines that you know that you can do. And then maybe take pictures around your surroundings or even really try to um, you know, get familiar with the other machines because then you can YouTube it, you can Google it. Somebody out there is gonna show you how to use that machine. Or ask someone you know, if you know there's a really fit person, um, if you know someone, say, hey, how do you use this machine? Hey, is there a time you could meet me and we, you could like just kind of show me how to use these things? Tip number five and the final tip. Just do it. Just take action. Don't overthink it. Just go. Check into that class. Book that class. Show up for that class. Do whatever you have to do to get your booty to that class. Look. We will talk ourselves out of doing so much and we will let our minds take us places that they don't really need to go. So just do it. Take action. I'm not going to tell you wear cute workout clothes or make sure that you're listening to this kind of, I'm not going to give you that. Like I'm telling you from the standpoint of somebody who's watched people come in to my gym, fearful, and then thrive. And once you do something that scares you a little bit over and over again, you get past that fear and you feel freaking amazing. So I hope these tips are very helpful for you. Comment below if any of this has resided with you, if you feel me, what are your fears? Please share with us because your expertise can help others as well. What were some of the things you did to get over your fear of going to the gym? And if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up.